Welcome to Stearman's On Tour, the channel that's going to drive the length and breadth of the country to show you the best in van conversions and tiny homes. But today is not a tiny one. Let's see what we've got in store. So I'm sure you're eager to find out what's going to be going on in this bus because it is unbelievable. I don't know too much about it, all that it's a Crown Super Coach, which was a school bus in its day. Yeah, it was a school bus. Yep. We'll, we'll spin around. We'll ask a few questions. So, whereabouts did this bus reside? Where where was it originally from? Its working life was in California. Uh, it was owned by one company, so it was a one owner from new. Or specially ordered with the five-speed box. And what? So obviously, uh, when the bus was first built, it would have had rows and rows of seats. What? Yeah. What was it like? Was it that in that condition when you got it? It was. It did have all the seats in. We kept some. We disposed of the other ones. Everything else. Then, as you can see, we've added. We've turned it into what you can see here now. Which is nothing short of awesome. Let's be fair. <laughs> it is so cool and so spacious. And a Smeg fridge. Yeah, the, uh, one of the few things is uh, when you're building with your partner and they want criteria, Alison was quite adamant not had a smeg fridge in the house house, so when we did it she wanted a smeg fridge. A smeg fridge. And then we worked things around that and backwards, like electrics and space. Mostly all the design and where things fit and live is down to Alison, I was just more the hands that um, put it in place. Putting it in place. Yeah. So, um, her vision is, is, is what you see, the number plates is what we accumulated, the, the metal uh, is basic shop fittings, their shop fittings. Alison made all the curtains. She covered the seats in the original, on the original ones. Uh, but then we upgraded to the Alfa Romeo leathers. It's a 36 feet bus with the engine is actually under, under where you stood. This is the access for the start motor and the blower. It's got a big blower. There's two more hatches either side of that of the bus where you go in to do other maintenance based on what would need to be done at the time. I take it you can't just get to the engine from one place because it's so big. Yeah, like, mo like most vehicle engines, a lot of the American trucks, the whole cab lifts forward and gives a mechanic access. With the bus, you've got you're limited with that. I mean, this is designed in 1948. This is not a brand new design, and the engine is from that era. So I can run this on cooking oil, bio oil, methanol or ethanol, whichever the one. It doesn't, it, it hasn't got a computer telling it what the hell's that. It will just, if it burns, this thing will burn and work. So you've got a double, obviously the double bedroom at the back. Yeah, yeah. We split the, the into two sections. This being the only main wall between the two. Yep. Uh, the, it can also be deconstructed because it's obviously a simple wood system. You've got, it lands where the joins of the windows are. So all the windows that on this bus being an early bus, drop down inside they can drop all the way down and there's three different uh, settings all the way up all the windows on both sides will drop down and what you'll see in the hollywood movies they used the crown super coach for when they were doing the college because when they wanted the, where the girls would lean out the window as a car drove past this was the only bus where they could get the, the actresses out the that. window where you can see the other style of bus with the bonnet they're 50 50 windows where they've got a metal bar here so they don't go all the way down. So that's a solid piece of glass and that will only move that. That law changed in the States because kiddies were getting that. But the Supercoach was built and obviously this Wait. is the window that was in. And as you know, last night was, was we were at a party and everybody ended up on the bus. On the bus. Everybody had somewhere to sit. There was enough seats. It was cooking, food, drinking and uh, there was more than enough space for, even though there's, there's only two of us on it all the time. When we have guests, this seems to be, it's not a party bus, but it does seem to have the vibe of people quite happily sitting doing their own thing. It's um, just the space. And, and the, the space, yeah, nobody's yeah. on top of each other. It, it's a winner and a loser. You've got the winner because you've got the space, but then you are limited to where, we, where you can always park. But we've had no issues parking on any campsite we've been to have always welcomed it. When we've gone to shows and we've not managed to make a campsite, we've parked on industrial estates and we've had no issue there. And the only, only time the police spoke to us was can we have a look? Are, are we powering all? Oh this? yeah. What we've got on the top is three solar panels of I think they're 320 each, so it gives me 960 in total. Nearly a kilowatt. Yeah, just under a kilowatt. That drops down into me leisure batteries, which are five 110 amp leisures, all linked together, giving me 500 odd amp hours. And then I've got a 4000 pure sign inverter that, that powers all the 240 stuff. So the same as everybody else, we've got a 12 volt system that runs throughout, which are the all LED type things like the floor lighting is LED. The strip lightings that run across are LED, 
they're on a 12 volt system the max van is 12 volt and the deep two diesel eaters we've got one at the back and one at the front for diesel so all they were on 12 volt system pulling off the same set of batteries and then the inverter pushes out for the fridge and then the other so the fridge is the main draw mm -hmm. the tvs one of the tvs is 12 so that's not really again playstation or ps4 is, is obviously 240 so we haven't got a massive amount of 240 stuff but if we do put other things on we should now obviously everybody in the uk knows we're not set up with the weather so you know it is a case of watching your victron system and, and monitoring where you're at are you going to get through do you need to turn something off if we was in europe or spain we would be full on all the time it's only because we're in the uk and it's winter and all you need is four days of rain or, or snow good old snow because you've obviously only panels don't work at all because obviously there's something on them yeah we've not really suffered i think there's only once where we've turned both the diesel eaters on at the same time and everyone knows they, that's what the most drawer is once we've turned one off and let that one get up to speed we then start the second one it was no issue but trying to stop them both at the same time was the only time that we got one flashing a, a power error so yeah we've, you know there's still always improvements never a finished job anyone who thinks to build something and it's done you, you're living in cuckoo land especially when you're living in it pretty much 24 7 as you do or we do you do see things and change things we had a, we used to have here a dining area with two seats and a table never used it never made use of it so we went that got rid of and we redid the kitchen into a galley style and and put a cooker in as well which we didn't have before so and we changed also gained because uh, we took this we still needed somewhere to eat food or potentially sit and work at a laptop so we went with a galley style with an overhang and two, two breakfast bars and you get to look out the window you can drop the windows you've seen you can sit this side. I suppose you've got no issue with like keeping cool in the summer because you can drop this side, drop that open, side. You can open exactly opposite or diagonal. This bus lends itself to so many things that we need in a van stroke van life. It's a no brainer for a starter, for a vehicle to start with. And the only issue is most people is this size. Uh, basic toilet. We've not gone with a full, we would love a composting toilet, but the price of a thousand pounds for a toilet isn't really in our budget at this point. No. This was all built by our Alison and the paintings you see the cow and that was an old picture of some Volkswagens that we managed to fettle in. Small little hand sink for brushing your teeth in the morning, nothing too complicated. Not in much. retrospect this would be the shower cubicle with the shower there and this space would be with a, with a floor pan. Yeah. So if I had to change it that's what I would feel like to change. This fan, the most popular fan out there I believe is still the Max fan. Yeah. With well the done. remote does its job. The way we've combated condensation which all van people know is the biggest problem is the, the diesel heater is at the back. Yep and it blows across our feet there. You can just see where the, where the exhaust port, where the port comes in. So you get warm air coming in there, even on setting one, it then picks up our, our condensation out of our breath and exit this way. So what you have got is that circulation of air coming in and, then, and it's slightly warm. Your damp condensation air rises anyway and it exits that way. We then obviously four ways stretch carpeted the roof, uh, which is, takes away the cold surface. So the yeah. only place you may see it, as you can see on the back windows is there. A little bit on the back window and considering there's two adults and a dog in here every fair, day that's and it obviously this is like first thing in the morning so you've been in there all night usually i mean this yeah. window you may notice um the back window is Good. raptured but john and myself took that off because that was a steel component of the bus it's not aluminium you go on, I, on my channel i do a little video of, of, of taking that off and sanding it back repairing the holes and putting it back on and it just happened to be gray that john had available that matched the, the, the roofing that we'd already put in place. It wasn't by, that was just by sheer luck that the colour you had was that colour. I hope you've enjoyed that as much as we have. Don't forget, we do release videos every Sunday and videos every Wednesday. If you want to watch one of our van life videos, there'll be a link here. If you want to watch another cool van tour, I'm going to drop a link here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share, and all that jazz, and we'll see you in the next video.